Hello and welcome back friends. So today's video is on gynecomastia. This is about a patient who had grade 2B to grade 3 gynecomastia. He was a gym trainer and he developed gynecomastia because of the abuse of anabolic steroids that you usually take during your muscle building things. Your gym trainers and others, they suggest you to take anabolics, anabolic cycles and because of which he developed this gynecomastia. So we'll be discussing this case. So as you can see, he had these huge glands, otherwise a very fit individual and uh, he wanted to get rid of all this because he himself was a gym trainer. We planned his surgery under general anesthesia. Under general anesthesia, you are completely asleep. Uh, you don't have any awareness of your surgery and the surgery is completely painless. Now what we planned for him in this, you can see this line that I have marked is the pectoral area. We do do not do a lot of liposuction in the upper portion of the chest so as to maintain the fullness in the upper part of the chest this all marking is of that of a gland and i'll show you how huge the glands were and this is how we do liposuction first we do infiltration after infiltration we suck out all the fat that is around the gland we just don't do a gland excision because along with the gland there is a lot of fatty tissue around it. So gynecomastia is actually breast that has developed in a male patient. In a breast for anybody, there is a gland and there is a fat. To remove the fat, I prefer to do liposuction. And then to remove the gland, you need to give a small cut in the subareolar area and you remove the gland. So this is how it is. So as you can see, we have already removed gland from one side of the chest on the right side we have already removed the gland you can see how huge the gland is compared to that we are still to remove the gland from the left side you can see there's a huge gland which is remaining we have already done liposuction on both the sides and this is the cut through which i would remove the gland on the left this is already removed on the right side so this is the small cut that we need to give if we have to remove such a huge gland so we'll show you how it ends so this is how the both sides of the gland work after we have removed them and uh, as you can see uh, the result on table the chest are now flat these are the cuts through which i have done the liposuction of the patient and uh, this is the huge gland almost 11 centimeters by 8 centimeters on both the sides and this is the cut through which we have removed the gland and this is the point where we stitch it and uh, that is it the chest is now flat completely flat and i'll show you how the results are at about one month so this is immediately two days after the surgery this is how his chest is still there is a lot of swelling bruising and edema because of the surgery and uh, after about a month's time this is how he is the chest is now completely healed the chest looks in good shape as you can compare with the previous pictures the chest is now much better than what he had before so this is all about gynecomastia uh, because of steroids in a patient so in case you have gynecomastia or if you have any query regarding to gynecomastia you can always contact our team and we'll be happy to help you thank you and have a nice day